Look at how thick and robust the root system is on this cloned tomato. Cloning tomatoes can produce quicker harvests, increase yields, improve disease resistance, and give more consistent fruit because it is identical to the parent plant. This is why, when I have the option, I switch from planting this to cloning this so I can grow that. Let's talk hydroponics. Cloning tomatoes can be a really complicated process. But seriously, it can really be that easy. Not everything roots from cutting so easily, but some of the easiest ones to try would be tomatoes, basil, mint, and many other common herbs. The key reason I prefer cloning any plant if I can is because it requires a very simple setup and there are fewer unknowns. The plant is a genetic copy of the parent, so I know exactly what it will produce. I don't need fancy lighting, and it takes less time than germinating from seed. I can easily tell if the clone is successful by observing new root growth. So let's be smart with water by cloning tomatoes and grow a blue thumb. Before I get into a few tips for cloning your tomato plants, I wanted to mention how clone plants may be especially helpful for the Kraki method. Since the Kraki method relies on roots that must adapt to the humid air zone suspended above the nutrient water, I've noticed that the thicker roots from cloned plants are less likely to dry out, and the plants I have cloned appear to be healthier than the plants I have started from seed. Now it's just an observation so far, and my system still needs a lot of fine tuning, but I am impressed at how healthy the root systems look and how consistent the growth is from cloned tomatoes in the Cracky hydroponic systems. If this has inspired you to try this at home, you can let us know by hitting that blue thumb like button as we move on to the tips for successful cloning. Tip number one, clone suckers. Cloning tomatoes from suckers allows you to start your next round of tomato plants before you finished harvesting your current crop. This allows for efficient, successive planting. You can find your suckers growing between the main stem and a branch of your tomato plant. Tip number two, increase surface area. Cutting at a 45 degree angle can help increase the surface area where rooting typically occurs, and this can increase your chances for cloning success. Bonus tip, make sure to sterilize your cutting tool of choice with something like isopropyl alcohol or heat to prevent exposing the new cutting to any unwanted pathogens. Tip number three, prune cuttings. Remove all but the top leaves of the tomato plant so the clone can focus on rooting. It's sometimes hard to bring yourself to trim so many leaves off your nicely prepared clone, but it can really help relieve the plant from the stress of maintaining all that leafy growth. Tip number four, shade and humidity. A shady and humid environment can really make the difference between success and failure. The cutting needs time to root and recover. While it still needs light, it will quickly wilt and die if it is given access to direct sunlight or is left in a dry environment. Tip number five, use plain, dechlorinated water. You can clone many plants with plain tap water, though it may be good to make sure it is free of chlorine, which you can do with an activated carbon filter or by setting the water out overnight to allow some of the chlorine to evaporate out. Actually, if your container doesn't block out sunlight and your water has high nutrient concentrations, algae growth can really make it difficult for your cuttings to establish healthy roots. Tip number six, apply rooting hormones. While tomatoes and many herbs can be cloned directly in plain water, rooting hormones are popular for cuttings that are more stubborn. There is a long list of synthetic and natural rooting hormones that may improve rooting success, but I am not experienced with these and can only pass on information. Some common natural rooting hormones include honey, aloe vera, and willow water, which is water steeped with young twigs from a willow tree. We will explore rooting hormones as well as more complicated cloning setups in the future as we start to clone a wider variety of plants. While cloning plants has some serious advantages, you miss out on that opportunity to improve plant genetics through micro adaptations as well as crossbreeding when you plant new seeds from strong parent plants. This is why it will always be important to be able to grow from seed and save seed while cloning can be a great alternative when you find that plant you don't want to change. If you want to learn more about growing hydroponically without any pumps or electricity, check out our introduction video on the Cracky Method or our hydroponics playlist in the description below. Let's keep on conserving water and grow a blue thumb.